This video is about my technique for anterior intrusion to correct a deep bite. A lot of orthodontic practitioners are apprehensive and hesitant about incorporating the use of TADS in their orthodontic practice. But what I can say is that TADS are perfectly safe as long as you understand the anatomy of the insertion site. True, mistakes can be made, but if you prepared well, then it should not be a problem. I hope that this short clip can inspire those who are still hesitant to use TADS. Orthodontic treatment is a lot better today because of TADS. After a very minimal application of anesthesia, I determined the insertion site by making a vertical indentation on the gingiva using an explorer. This indentation is based on the imagined position of the roots of the incisors by looking at it from the incisor using an intraoral mirror. I then punch a hole to mark my insertion site. At this point, the screw is ready to go in. The tads should always be perpendicular to the bone during initial insertion. This is very important to remember because if the position is not perpendicular, it can cause the tads to slip. Once you have inserted the tads by 2 mm, you can either continue until you reach your sweet spot or you can change its direction. During insertion, the wrist should not move. The butt of the handle of the driver should be at the palm of the working hand and the thumb and finger doing the turning of the driver. Moving the wrist can lead to a bigger entry hole resulting in unstable tads. An open coil spring or an elastomeric chain can be used to deliver the intrusive force. However, you must keep in mind that the application of the force is labial to the center of rotation. This creates a moment that tips the crowns labially. However, in this case, this was counteracted by a horizontal force coming from an existing infrazygomatic tads. <laughs> 